Suppose you haven't gotten that much of our upbringing, Stella, that you just suppose there's any part of a gentleman in his nature. Not one particle, no. Oh, oh. If he was just ordinary, just plain, but good and wholesome. But no. There's something downright bestial about him. You hate me for saying this, aren't you? He acts like an animal. Has an animal's habits. Eats like one. Moves like one. Talks like one. There's even something subhuman. Something not quite at the state of humanity here. Yes. Something ape-like about him. Like one of those pictures I've seen in anthropological studies. Thousands of years have passed him right by. And there he is, Stanley Kowalski. Bearing the raw meat home from the kill in the jungle. And you... You here waiting for him. Maybe he'll strike you. Or grunt and kiss you. That is, if kisses have been discovered yet. Hmm. Night falls and the other apes gather there at the front of the cave. All grunting like him and swelling and gnawing and hulking. He's poker night, you call it. This party of apes. Somebody growls. Some creature snatches at something. The fight is on. God. Maybe we are a long way from being made in God's image, but still, my sister, there has been some progress since then. Such things as art and poetry and music. Just kinds of new light have come to the world since then. And in some kinds of people, some gentle feelings have had some little beginning that we have got to make grow and cling to and hold us off lag toward whatever dark joy we're approaching. Don't. Don't hang back with the brutes. I haven't done that monologue since college. I think I did it better now than I did then. I grew a lot. I wanted to be Blanche Dubois when I was in college. But everyone wanted, would say, but including people who knew me in school, said, Laura, you're Stella. <laughs> you're Stella, darling, not, not the alcoholic with the twisted past who has actually turned to a bit of a whore. Now, that's some interpretations of Blanche Dubois, that she has secretly become her worst nightmare. A woman so divided by who she really is. A woman so torn by her past and not willing to face the mistakes that she's made. And a woman not willing to let go of her elitism. And in the process of not letting go, she spirals into oblivion. Oblivion being a woman's worst nightmare having to sell herself, in essence, to the highest bidder to keep what she wants. Was she raped by Stanley Kowalski, or did she give herself up to him? Did she succumb to being the ape? Hmm. It's up to the director, isn't it? And the actor who plays the parts. I've always seen Blanche Dubois as a woman who was more experienced than I was with the world and yet completely torn apart by it. The tragedy of being a female. We have not reached the point where we have the ability to be equal. Despite the fact that we may intellectually be capable of being equal and even physically becoming equal. Stronger, smarter. Men have not allowed us to be equal because of their strength. They are not willing to perceive the fact that our desire for tender feelings is a very, very, very strong place to be. 
and some kinds of people, some tender feelings have had some little beginning that we must make grow. That is the cry and the difference between a man and a woman. We see tender of feelings as being strong while we teach our men that it is weak. And in the process of doing that, we put people in the position where they can't be their true selves. Blanche Dubois ended up with a gay husband who hide, hid his own secrets and eventually killed himself. Or as perhaps if men were allowed to throw their true feelings and be emotionally supportive of women, she might have ended up finding a straight man. Whereas her husband could have actually been in the relationship he wanted to be in instead of hiding it. The tragedy of a streetcar named Desire is that people are not allowed to be what they desire. I think that was Tennessee Williams' hidden little message. Blanche Dubois' tragedy is that she, in some ways, desires to be an animal, desires to let go and be herself. I think she's envious of Stella. Her lecture towards Stella about don't hang back with the brutes, that Stella is perfectly happy in her life and the possibility of having children with Stanley Kolovsky and living the life that she lives. Perhaps it's what's going on in our country right now. 45 is find a way to cloak who he is and convince the people who are in the worst situation in this country that he's on their side. He is our Blanche de Bois. I just hope that he doesn't push our country into the same insane oblivion that de Bois ended up in. Worse, he's a kind of combination of Stanislav Skolovsky and Blanche Dubois. The delusion of Dubois combined with the animalistic ape-like strength of will of Kowalski. The brute at the poker game. The one who cares more about the pot at the end of the game than he does about the tender feelings of a lady.